Hello and welcome back to the Fasting Focus Lifestyle Podcast. I am here in Icaria, Greece, in the village of Mavrikatos, and I'm actually looking at one, two, three, four little kitties greeting me at the door to watch the sunrise at 6.30 in the morning over the mountains. And I want to tell you, everything that I have is because of starting and staying consistent with my fasting journey. And you can have the same for your life in your journey to whatever degree you want. Yeah, you can. Hi, little guy. As one cat rubs up against my leg. (laughs) Oh, this is lovely. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Fasting Focus Lifestyle Podcast, where each week I will be discussing all things fasting and how it can become the most valuable tool in your personal toolkit so that you can live a long, healthy, and meaningful life. I'm your host, Vicki Sharon, and thank you for joining me. When you work in tech at Cox, you get to do meaningful work every day. You get to be the biker who codes as fast as he rides, crafting advanced tech solutions that transform car buying, or a guitarist who develops harmonious apps and websites, connecting people to people and businesses, all in real time. A savvy soccer mom running solution sets as passionately as she runs gameplays. Be the super secret keeper. Designing cybersecurity systems to protect private data and websites. A planet protector. Expanding EV battery life and inventing more ways to build a better future for all. When you work in tech at Cox, you get to do career-defining work that solves the greatest problems of our time. Join us and connect to work that improves lives, including yours. Learn more about our family of businesses at cox.career slash tech. Everyone deserves to be connected. That's why Cox offers a range of high-speed internet plans that fit any budget. Stream, chat, and stay connected at an incredible price. It's fast, reliable internet for everyone. You're probably thinking, wait, what? But yeah, it's true. Learn more at cox.com slash ACP. Non-transferable, one per household. Application and eligibility decisions are made by the FCC. Other restrictions apply. Yes, us. Welcome, hello, and thank you for joining me again after the extended, I would say, maybe like a, a summer break of sorts that I had before this episode. So I, I do want to thank you. I want to give thanks and appreciate you listening right now. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. So yeah, I am just now watching the sunrise. It's about 6.40 or so in the morning, local time here in Greece. But I want to tell you in an inspirational sort of way, I want to remind you and I want to kind of ask you, do you have your goals written down? Do you have things, those big kind of scary dreams that we are afraid to write down, we're afraid to declare, we're afraid to lay out and say that we want deeply, deeply, there's got to be things that you want to achieve in your journey. And even though they're big, even though they're scary, know that whatever you're heading after, whatever you want to achieve for yourself in your journey, don't rule it out. Think about it. Envision it. See yourself already doing it. See yourself already living it, experiencing it because it's probably not as far out of reach as you would think. I actually saw a photo in my Facebook memories, as many of you probably also like to look into your Facebook memories. Um, It was six years ago, yesterday I believe, and six years ago I had reached a point in my fasting weight loss journey my weight loss journey with fasting. And it was roughly about, I think it was about like 
two weeks, maybe a little over two weeks. But anyways, I remember the photo that I took. And I'm big on photos. And for those that know me and know my affinity for photos, I, I go a little bit excessive because to me that's encapsulating a moment. It's like those time capsules that we put together and bury and put away. And to me, there's a lot of feeling, a lot of memory and just vivid, vivid emotion in each one of those photos. So this photo that I took of myself was six years ago, about two weeks into my journey. And I was absolutely ecstatic. I remember the feeling from head to toe and thinking and really, truly realizing like this was it. This was my method. This was the tool that I was going to use. And as many of you have heard when I uh, talk about how I started on this journey and the, the headspace where I was at and how I wanted to try this completely new, crazy sounding, crazy sounding, right? Because we all at some point had people that told us like, oh, you know, fasting is starving yourself, fasting, oh, that's unhealthy, you need to, you need to eat. Mm -mm. I remember the difference between the starting point and that point where I had about two weeks or so in, about six years ago, and really internalizing how significant this tool would be in my life. And I want to say it was like half asleep because I was like just waking up in the morning and the look of pride and happiness on my face may be kind of small to some, but I felt it. I felt it and I had to encapsulate it with a photo. So I remember taking the photo. I remember standing at the window and really thinking this method is going to take me everywhere I need to go. And man, was I right. Oh, I was so, so right. But it's just I think one of the things that people fail to realize, and this is why I want to really drive it home to you listening, is keep those expectations at bay. It's going to sound silly, but remove the expectations. Remove what you think that you're heading towards and how it has to look like, what the journey has to feel like, has to be like, has to smell like, taste like, experience, whatever. Because the less judgment rules, ridicule, expectation that you keep on your journey, the more opportunity remains open for what could be, for what will be, for what is possible for you to achieve when you're consistent. Because really, like, as I've really driven home and reiterated to as many folks as I can remember at this point, and it's been a very frequent theme in early episodes, consistency, your consistency will pay off, even if it's just half effort on those days where you can't really muster yourself much further than getting out of bed and the stressors are piling up in your life. If you're consistent in this, you're teaching yourself, you're teaching your mind, your body, your habit, the importance of this journey and that the stressors will come and go. We know this. The intensity of those stressors can fluctuate over time. Yes. But if you stay consistent without expectations, without judgment or rules and limitations for yourself on this journey, I'm telling you, like the, these magical things can happen before you know it, before you even realize it, it's, it's something that you've got to experience. And I know I've spoken to many folks who have had similar experiences in their lives where things have happened and opened up for them as a direct result of staying the course, of sticking it through for themselves each and every day, regardless of what life is hurling at them every single day. When you work in tech at Cox, you get to do meaningful work every day. You get to be the biker who codes as fast as he rides, crafting advanced tech solutions that transform car buying, or a guitarist who develops harmonious apps and websites, connecting people to people and businesses, all in real time. A savvy soccer mom running solution sets as passionately as she runs gameplays. Be the super secret keeper. Designing cybersecurity systems to protect private data and websites. A planet protector. Expanding EV battery life 
and inventing more ways to build a better future for all. When you work in tech at Cox, you get to do career-defining work that solves the greatest problems of our time. Join us and connect to work that improves lives, including yours. Learn more about our family of businesses at cox.career slash tech. So the first bit of advice I want to give to you is from what I remember when I started, I got really excited about the possibility of what could be and what was already happening in just those short two weeks of me first starting. And for those of you that have taken on any other different weight loss method where you overhaul everything and you get the food list and products and you're just overwhelmed. It's very overwhelming. I want to encourage you, maybe remind you if you knew before and you just needed that gentle, compassionate reminder. Keep things as simple as possible and don't overwhelm yourself. When you're consistent with your efforts, keeping that open-minded expectation of what could be excited about what the possibility of what each day may bring. That's where that growth and real passion and zest for this journey is going to continue to grow and develop and nurture within you. So when I started, I, like many folks that get really excited about the possibility and slightly apprehensive, maybe a bit skeptical and nervous and a little bit doubtful, fearful that, oh, this is just going to be one of those, another one of those failed attempts like before. That's okay to hold on to those, but don't hold on to them tightly. Getting into this and just getting excited about what the possibility of what each day could bring, let that be enough. Let that be enough to get you through that day, through that moment, through that second, through the minute, hour, wherever you are. I know for very well that if I had known in those beginning moments, the first few weeks, the first month, really, if I overwhelmed myself with the inundation of information and stuff that's going to happen three, six months, or even a year into my journey. If I had overwhelmed myself in the beginning, I would absolutely not be where I am. I would not have achieved what I have. And again, this is something I want to repeat and echo to those of you listening that maybe tried it before and need a restart. So if this is you, like, let, take, take this with the utmost importance and care and concern for you on your journey. Like really internalize the message of keeping things simple. Add that element of joy and excitement for what the possibility could bring in each day, in a week. Like the, the incredible things can just grow and develop with that open mind, with your consistency each and every single day. And on my journey, like I said, I got excited. I, I'm a, I've self-declared true blue nerd by design, I feel like. So it was easy for me to just get excited for what could be, what was going on inside my body. And for fellow nerds out there, if this is you, like, get excited. Get excited about this. Again, but don't overwhelm yourself because there's a lot, there's a lot of studies now, even the diff in the time difference six years ago to now. Tons of studies, tons of a lot uh, more information and stuff that's out there. Because I feel like when I came into this, it was just snowballing into what fasting has been, you know, reintroduced or back into society now, um, the importance of it. So discovering more and more information, more testimonials, more inspirational little snippets of what could be for myself on this journey. I got excited about it the more information I saw, the more experience I saw in other people's journey. I kind of like, I, I do a lot of, because I'm a nerd and artsy-brained and all that stuff, I remember thinking and kind of letting myself imagine what could be. And again, like I said earlier, removing those expectations or things that, feelings rather, that what it has to be, what it has to look like. And 
thinking that it has to fit into some kind of timeline. And also as a side note, I have mentioned and shared before that I think it was roughly about of August, December. So maybe like a few months in, I had signed up to wager my weight loss journey with Healthy Wage. And side note, for those of you that are interested, I will have my link for participation. If you're interested in Healthy Wage, I am an affiliate and ambassador for Healthy Wage. Um, they've actually like, and this is also things that I never expected. Like I never expected to be in a commercial for Healthy Wage for them to really spotlight and talk about my story and the significance and how it really moved um, a lot of the folks that work for home office Healthy Wage. But coming into this lifestyle and removing those expectations, seeing things, maybe it was a Facebook algorithm, who knows, but I know the more elements of enjoyment and kind of imaginative playfulness exploration, if you want to call it that, um, that I allowed to come in on this journey, the better things got. And to say that like my life has been perfect, y'all know, like if you know, you know. And yeah, I, I didn't have just like a naive way about life, but I allowed for those elements of joy and playfulness and happiness really to come whenever they could, as often as they could, uh, without the attachment or judgment and negativity that can very often manifest on your average, you know, conventional weight loss journey that many of us, myself included, have experienced in our life and how we have to measure up to these societal parameters and things. And this is, I, I honestly feel like this is the beauty of what makes fasting such a, such a pivotal component of who we are as humans, as part of this human experience is understanding the importance of allowing that bodily rest and allowing the body to get into this mode, this state of existence to keep ourselves in balance, in as healthy of a balance as possible. And we do ourselves a disservice when we attach any kind of timeline or expectation and judgment and putting ourselves in this box of we have to do this by this date and this time. And as you all know that have experienced this, the amount of self-ridicule that happens when we fail to meet those expectations, because realistically, it does such a disservice when we attach these data points as a, me as a measure of our achievement and value of ourselves on our weight loss journey. And again, as you've heard me also talk about how I fasting has become for me over time I saw the importance of this as a lifestyle tool and not as uh, I'm using loose finger quotes here the weight loss journey and how that it, yes it's a benefit of utilizing this lifestyle modification balance tool whatever you want to call it whatever you know remove that expectation and judgment that this is specifically for weight loss. Like this is, as I share with many of my uh, my clients when we consult, is this is a mind-body reconnection restoration tool, whatever you want to call it, whatever is going to add that element of positivity and curiosity for you on this journey. Imagining what could be and leaving yourself open to the possibility of what will be, rather, as you're consistent, you're going to surprise yourself. You're going to surprise yourself. You're going to get really excited the more consistent that you are. And leaving that possibility open for what if, what could be, <laughs> can be really special and really life transforming. So as I got further and further along, and obviously the, the weight loss results continued to show up, as I stayed consistent and figuring out what getting into the groove looked like. And I, I, like I said, it was about the two weeks and it was a huge turning point for me. And then as things continued, 
I, I never, th- I honestly never thought I would be one of those people that just got nerdishly excited and passionate about parts of health and being uh, really gung ho about knowing the body physiology and how things work within us. And like I said, I, I've always been the artsy nerdy girl. So to me, that was out of reach and not something that I was deserving of. And because I was a much larger size and I had wanted to be for my entire life up until this point, I never thought, I, I honestly thought that being healthy and being at a you know normal weight was absolutely out of my reach. And the judgments and limitations that we get from others, a lot of times often, unfortunately, sorry if you're listening, family, but it comes from family. A lot of times, all these deep rooted historical values, beliefs that we have and hold about ourselves, they unfortunately do come from family and do come from those that are closest to us. And maybe they're said to us in a way that's not intended to be a negative way, but we internalize them and we hold on to them unintentionally and they become things that we just, we want to let go, but we can't because of these people that are in our lives, our family, parents, siblings, relatives, aunts and uncles, grandparents, whoever, maybe friends that are like family to you. And we allow those to dictate what can and cannot happen in our lives a lot of the time. And that can be extremely limiting and making us feel like that we have to be in this compartment, in this box, and we can't step out of that. And we have to fit this parameter of what others think of us. And at some point in your journey, you will come to this realization that this is so much more meaningful than just weight loss. I am able to really think and feel that my body is, in, is capable of an absolutely incredible things if I just let myself get out of my own way. If I just stay consistent, if I just keep going, regardless of what others think, regardless of what others feel about this effort, this progress, their, your success, your process, your method, your choices for your food, for your drink, or not food or drink, um, if you're in a fast or whatever. But I think it's really, really important for you to see yourself the way that you deserve. And I've advocated very often for mirror talk. And if you've heard me talk about it before, I echo this the same way with getting into your fasting. At some point, you're going to make that connection. This is so much more deeper and more meaningful than just coming into it for stereotypical weight loss efforts. And that restoration, that mind-body connection that does refine and improve on this journey is going to help make things easier for you to shed those expectations and judgments of others over time. And it should be slow. It should be something that just happens organically for you on this journey. And if you're forcing yourself to do any part of this journey, you're going to find that torturous element that we have experienced. You probably have also, if you're listening to this, probably have also experienced it. For your weight, for your journey with fasting, so much clear headed thought and insight can happen for you on this journey with consistency, with patience for yourself. Allow yourself to imagine, allow yourself to get excited, allow yourself to invest time, patience, self love, compassion for each and every moment of each and every day on this journey. Write those goals. Write those big, scary, daunting, terrifying things. Write them down. Write them down in the handbook if you've got them. If you need the handbook, thefastingfocuslifestyle.com. Scroll down a bit and you'll see the link right there. But if you want those big, scary things in your life, think about what that can look like. I, I'm going to encourage you to imagine. Let yourself sit wherever you are, even for a few minutes, if that's all you can do, sit and imagine what that feels like in your life, what that smells like. Yeah, let it be weird. Let it be weird. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it smell like? Maybe even what it tastes like. Who knows? Let yourself really get excited and thinking and imagining what could be with that daily effort 
bit of self-compassion, but let that grow. Let that grow. Each time you look at yourself in the mirror, when you're consistent, you're showing up for yourself, just give yourself like a, yeah, here's another day. I got this. Here's another great day, regardless of the stressors, because we all got them. That's okay. Look at yourself in the mirror and remind yourself that you got this, because I'm reminding you too. You can absolutely do this. One day at a time, one moment at a time. Imagine the possibilities, because it's all up to you, one step at a time. I truly believe in you listening right now. Keep going. You got this. And if you are in need of supportive coaching on your fasting journey, please reach out. I will absolutely love and be honored to assist and coach you on your journey. TheFastingFocusLifestyle.com has my calendar links and more for support. Like I mentioned earlier, the handbook link is on there too. Whether you need that PDF download or you would like the printed copy from Amazon, it's there. And again, I truly believe in you. You got this. Until next time, we'll talk again later. Bye. The Fasting Focus Lifestyle Podcast. Copyright 2024. The information given within this podcast is not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Please consult your doctor before starting any weight loss method. Thank you. When you work in tech at Cox, you get to do meaningful work every day. You get to be the biker who codes as fast as he rides, crafting advanced tech solutions that transform car buying, or a guitarist who develops harmonious apps and websites, connecting people to people and businesses, all in real time. A savvy soccer mom running solution sets as passionately as she runs gameplays. Be the super secret keeper. Designing cybersecurity systems to protect private data and websites. A planet protector. Expanding EV battery life and inventing more ways to build a better future for all. When you work in tech at Cox, you get to do career-defining work that solves the greatest problems of our time. Join us and connect to work that improves lives, including yours. Learn more about our family of businesses at cox.career/tech.